Dear Bilbo T. Baggins, I'm a lady listener. Now, why would you say you're a lady listener? That is sexist and offensive to women. And I'd like to share a female female perspective to help balance out your podcast. Oh, Jesus. Well, yeah, I've been asking you guys to write in. By the way, this is my favorite podcast, so thanks for your work on it. No problem. Anyways, I often hear men complaining how hard it is to make to make women like you. I think you missed something here. Yeah, you kind of missed something. I often hear men complaining how hard it is to make women like you, what, bang them? Uh, Because the next sentence is that you need to trick us into fucking you. I can understand that it's hard to woo a woman. Uh, No, you can't, unless you're a lesbian. Unless you've actually had to hit on a woman to have sex. You have no fucking idea. I had this conversation with my wife one time. She was telling me one time, she goes, you know, guys just say the dumbest shit. You know, to you at a bar and blah, blah, blah. I said, all right, let's flip the tables. Let's say I was controlling. I was in control of my desires and you had to come over and wow me. Hit me with an opening line. She had nothing. She goes, you're just making this difficult, more difficult than it needs to. And I said, welcome to my world. Anyway, who is more attractive? Okay. I can understand that it's hard to woo a woman who is more attractive than you. Uh, But if you try to fuck someone as ugly as you are, I'm pretty sure they'll say, okay. Um, no, that's not how it works. However, a few men want to date a woman who is at their level physically, and I respect that preference. But let's flip the script and see if that argument still holds water. Well, I mean, first of all, you're talking about something you don't know anything about, which is hitting on women. And actually hitting on women who are better looking than you is not a hard thing. It's a confidence thing. All right. And then the the PED way of getting a better looking woman is to make a bunch of fucking money. But that doesn't count. I'm talking you're sleeping on a futon. You're going in there. You're like Damone. You don't care if she comes, stays, lays or prays. You got the fucking attitude, right? That shit. Yeah, I know some legends. Legends. Who are probably, I mean, at best, sexes. That are absolute, they've been crushing it for decades because they're confident and they know and they they just worked on it. They worked on it the way you work on a fucking jump shot and they are fucking amazing at it. So I think a lot of men, they don't want to put the work in and they can't get past. It's like people doing stand up. The reason a lot of people want to do it, but they never do it because they're so worried about bombing and the pain of that. You have to push through that until you're, you're bulletproof. You don't care. You don't care who gives a fuck. You just move on to the next show. Um, That's what I would say. But what do I know? I'm just a sexist guy. So she goes, let's flip the script, which is fair, because that's what I did with my wife when I made her hit on me. Oh, she bombed. Oh, she bombed. She's like, hey, how's it going? And I just looked at her like, ugh. (laughs) Anyway, but let's flip the script and see if that argument still holds water. I'm a woman. Uh, do you think there's any way in hell I can convince a guy who was an already 100% physically attracted me to want to fuck me? Um, I have no idea. I'm not a woman. Let alone date me. I have no idea. It's way harder for women to impress a man with anything other than her looks. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, that's why you guys walk in with half your fucking hoo-ha hanging out so you can get some drinks. Um... <laughs> I assume that wasn't a joke. You meant that. I assume your next point is probably that I'm, I assume that your next point is that I'm probably ugly. Why would I say that? So that's why I'm saying this. I wouldn't say that. It's just, listen, I'm a dick. I'm not fucking mean. At least I don't think I am. I'm not the most beautiful girl in the world, but I do get some attention. I'm cute enough to get by. You sound like a keeper to me, you know? You're not the most beautiful girl, so you know what that means? You probably got a great personality. And then, you know, not everybody's coming up to you, so when somebody does, you appreciate them. I mean, that's, you know, you need some hottie. Jesus Christ, they're walking around like, you know. I remember going on dates a few times, right? A few times when I actually got a beautiful woman to go on a date with me before I met my wife. Not saying my wife isn't beautiful, all right? But by then, I was in my 30s, and I just didn't give a fuck, so... That's when I started, you know, doing all right. But in my 20s, a 
couple of times I went out on dates, this one beautiful woman in particular, and the entire time I was in the restaurant, she was just looking around to see who was looking at her. And I, I put it all on me going, I'm not holding her attention and blah, 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 blah. And then years later, I was just like, she couldn't help it. You know, we were like 21 or something like that. All of a sudden, the whole world's paying attention to her. That must feel amazing. <laughs> I, what's she going to do? Look across the table at me? Uh, so anyway, she goes, so I'll put it to you and your lovely loudmouth wisdom. Is there anything a woman can do to fuck or date outside of her lane? I've seen men do it frequently. Yeah, we do. We usually do it one of two ways. You're either funny or you, you have a level of success. I've seen women do it less often, but how? I'd love to get your perspective and also that of the lovely Nia. I got to have Nia out here. It's just hard. You know, she has to watch the kids when I come out here. Uh, It would be even cooler if she agrees with me on some of these points. Well, I'm not going to debate any of your points other than like hitting on women. But that other stuff, I don't know what it's like to be a woman. Um, Thanks and go fuck fuck yourself. Pussy perspective detective. Well, why don't some other women write in about this? I would think... um, Universally speaking, the hardest thing is finding somebody that deserves your love. You know what I mean? Because I could give you an easy example of something that will make a guy hang around is if you cook for him. Because no women do that. Because just even suggesting that is considered sexist when the reality is cooking for somebody is one of the nicest, sweetest, loving things You can do for them. Now, if they don't appreciate it and they're like, where the fuck's my fucking club sandwich? Yeah, then you you start feeling like that. But like, uh, I love cooking for my wife. I love cooking for my family. And because it's the way that I show that I care about them. So I would think things like that or... uh, I don't know, if you're into the same type of shit, if you're into sports, if you're into something where there's an overlap or something like that, or if you like funny or something like that. I'm just going by me, you know? My wife was fucking hilarious. Um, and she was just into this, all of this stuff, you know? She's the one who got me into Steely Dan. I'm fucking in Harlem an African-American woman, and she, she's playing me a Steely Dan album. I was just like, who is this? How many layers is going on? She just was really interesting. So, um, I don't know. Yeah, so you want to date a better-looking guy? Yeah, why would you want to date some fucking slob or some bald bastard like me? I would say, yeah. Uh, I also think like if you if you do activities, which is hard during this pandemic, you know, what I mean, I always found like it was way easier if everybody's supposed to be there, that everybody kind of had their guard down and you could kind of feel the vibe of who somebody was. Whereas you go into a bar and everybody's kind of got their guard up, right? The guys are on the prowl. The lady's like, oh, Jesus, look at this fucking creep over in the corner with the chest hair, right? Those places are not good to meet people. But um, I got to be honest with you, like. I can only give you advice from the male perspective. So I imagine there's a bunch of women rolling their eyes. But I can tell you that, uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe I'll get Nia to come on here at some point, like how to do that. Um, Because I I don't know. I'm not going to fucking be a hypocrite here and act like I know what the fuck you need. I don't know. I don't know what you can do. There's got to be a book on it, right? That's why I don't understand about incels. There's books on how to get women. Like, why would you hang out with a bunch of other people who aren't getting pussy? (laughs) It's like, I don't know how to fix a car. Neither do I. Hey, let's sit around and talk about it. Because the car will never run. All right. Sugar in the house debate. Hey. Hey there, Billy uh, birthday cake tits. I know. I still got them. I'm a huge fan. I just saw you at one of your sold out shows at the Fox Theater in St. Louis. You fucking nailed it. And it was a dream come true. Now down to business. Nice. Thank you for coming out to the show. You know, I did that movie. I stayed right across the street at that hotel. 
Uh, recently, I cut out all added sugars. I noticed I had a serious addiction and decided I really needed a change. I got a baby girl uh, the same age as your son. I want to make sure I'm around for her as much as possible. Yeah, nothing like kids to get you to fucking straighten up. To my problem in perspective, I drank three tall cans of Arizona Arnold Palmer's every day. Anytime my girlfriend had sweets in the house, I always ate it all. Sometimes even before she got a chance to have some. I had a hard time with self-control. Oh, yeah, dude, I've been there. I've been there. I have a 600-pound person inside of me. I just paid. My wife brought home these chocolate fucking uh, croissants. And there was two of them sitting under the, the little cake thing, you know? One of those glass things, stands you put a cake on. And I saw them. And not only did I think of eating one, I thought of taking both of them and putting ice cream in the middle of it and making a fucking sandwich. 